morning friends welcome to day three of the seven day self-care challenge and today is all about yoga asana and meditation and mindfulness and the intention today is really to give our bodies and mind the time and space to relax and release especially nowadays we live in a society where there's a lot of noise there's a lot of movement there's a lot of things to do, values in society are usually productivity, efficiency. It's not giving us a lot of time and space to actually tune in and listen to our bodies and, and honor our needs. So we see maybe a lot of suppressed emotions, a lot of putting ourselves last and giving our energy to others. So today the intention is to take back our power and truly gift ourselves 5, 10, 15, 30 minutes, an hour of time for you to reconnect, to realign, and to allow anything to arise to arise, whether that be heavy emotions in the form of tears, in the form of anger. The point in my mind for yoga asana is movement is therapy. Then allow the emotion which is energy motion to run through your body you're not attaching to any of these emotions you're not attaching to any of the thoughts that are coming in you're not attaching to the the judgment the 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 criticism that tends to come up that i should be doing this posture better the perfectionist that comes through no you're just showing up as you and meeting yourself where you're at and you're showing yourself and demonstrating so much love and compassion to yourself as you practice, right? Now, you can also add on a meditation if you like, or you can do a meditation and not yoga asana, whichever you want. Adding both of them is a powerful combination. I highly recommend that. But if you're just starting, you don't really have a meditation practice or yoga asana practice, you just have one of them, then again, as I said, meet yourself where you're at, and then you can develop from there. So, that being said, um, I have a couple yoga asana classes. I also have tutorials on my YouTube channel. I also have a lot of meditations that I'm starting to pump out more and more and more. I also have my full minute musings, which are just like a little short clip of thoughtful or insightful observations that come from me as I journey on my path. And um, so you can choose for any one of those, or if you prefer, use your favorite uh, YouTuber or influencer or whatever platform and channel that you do follow for your own yoga practice. Or you can also just intuitively step on the mat and see where your body is going to lead you with. Arguably is um, not a better way, but it is a very nice way to practice just intuition, just tuning into your body instead of being um, said, told what to do and potentially allowing that ego to take the lead of the practice. If you see a teacher doing something, you're like, oh, I should be able to do something. So just be watchful and mindful of how you're showing up on the mat as you go through practice. And again, lots of love, lots of compassion because you are doing this challenge and this is huge. This means to yourself that you are putting your health and well-being first, which, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, a lot of the times we tend to put ourselves last. And we allow other people and events and situations to take a lot of our prana, a lot of our life force away from us. So this is a time to cultivate and nurture that life force and hold it here within, feel it within. So let me know what you think of today's challenge. Let me know if this resonates with you. If you have any questions, any comments, write them in the comments below. And until next time, enjoy your asana and meditation practice.